Alright, there we go with the introductions, everyone. What is good, my brothers and sisters? I'm Kirby1, and welcome to Sly2 Band of Thieves. That's right, we're ready to take on the next game, the sequel to Sly1 after defeating it and collecting all the Raccoonus pages. I'm into Fleeting Clockwork, of course, the Fiendish 5, I guess, as a whole. And we're ready to come hop into game 2. Arguably. Some people would suggest the best se se best game in the series, best series in the game, best game in the series. And yeah, yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you could power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. Um, yeah, arguably people say it's the best game in the series. Um, I'm really... I'd be inclined to agree with them. I think it really improves on the formula that was Sly Cooper 1. And really, between Sly Cooper 2 and 3, there's not, you know, a huge difference. And with the brains, there's like a few gameplay, you know, mechanics, switches. But, uh... But uh, as an overall premise, there's not um, like huge changes, major changes between, you know, 2, 3, and 4 even, I would hazard to say. For the gameplay mechanics, just their stories are a little different, but anyways. Well, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Furry should be moving into position for your rendezvous. Perfect. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Sounds good to me, Bentley. Not saying that those games are bad or anything, but, and like, I enjoy every one when I play them, so it's just a matter of. I just broke probably a bunch of priceless items, thinking there was coins inside. Um, these look like Raleigh photos. These Panda King photos. This Ruby, I guess not photos, portraits. Is that a raccoon? Looks like a raccoon. Mugshot, of course. And some nondescript photos. Looked like a fake Mona Lisa there. Anyways, like I was saying, like I have nothing against any of the games. I just think this one really improved on Sly 1, so that's why people who are fans commonly agree that it's the best game from what I've seen. No problem. I don't uh, just take the long way around. think we'll be going through the and garden, Bentley. Serves, you need to jump and hit the circle oh, geez, thanks. Thanks. We can manage that, I'm sure. Just with the upgrade. Come on, and I died. Oh, I caught the ledge. Just with the upgrade of, like, say, you see my health bar up there instead of, like, single fall. Single fall deaths. Got health bar now, so we're good. Good to go on that front, you know, it's not as dire a situation as things were in one. But that's just the progression of games too. Games moved away from like the single hit combat and because even the enemies are stronger in this game too, right? So it's just the evolution of the games. Oh, here we go. Murray the Brawn. 
and everyone gets kind of an upgrade in two, which carries on through three and four, so. No, Murray, I kept it a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course! It is nothing before the Murray. See, like, you, you wouldn't even recognize Murray if, uh, from game one, the way he's acting now. Like, if you never played one, you'd be like, oh, okay. Murray kind of sucks. But I guess, I don't know, a confidence thing. Growed up a little bit, maybe. Sorry, Murray, I'm just collecting coins. Actually, I'm through, so you could really let go of that gate, you know. Whatever. Oh, he's coming through. Another barrier stands before you. Fear not. I shall bend it like the truth. What a toss. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. Clockwork parts. We're dealing with that again. I know we're dealing with that again. Fun fact, though, in my own... Fuck, what's the word? My own continuity, I guess. Continuity. I think and I explained this. Game 2 was the first game we played, or I played with. Yeah, we played, me and my brother. So, like, a lot of this stuff went over my head. Didn't even know what Tibius Raccoonus was. Yet. Oh, really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Comleta. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts? Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! <laughs> Well, yeah, why wouldn't he use this as his chance to sneak away, you know? Don't. Shit. Shake a leg, Murray. It's time to go. You can't run forever. Yeah, you almost got hit by those. Yeah, well, this is where things get fun. Is that what you would call this? Things getting fun? But yeah, like lots of the clockwork stuff, like, I mean, also being like, you know, kids are dumb, so, so, you know, kids being dumb, whatever, not really comprehending and understanding story. So it's like, oh, clockwork guy, oh, blah, 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 just kind of like, you just watch the cutscenes because they're there, don't really comprehend and understand anything. It's like, now you go back and you're like, oh, yeah. Clockwork, claw gang, then introducing a new enemy and whatever, right? I've already got some new names in. Jeez, uh, I don't even remember. Was it? You can't run forever. The, the pink tiger. I don't know. Nala, Nyla. I forget already in the Contessa, like already introducing new characters. Visiting old characters here, in Clockwork, right? I'm coming. Let's get out of here. You, I'm sure you'll try. Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. That constable, Neela. Neela. Was a reference to the claw gang just a slip of the tongue? Or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. 
Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an Nothing wrong with living forever, it's right? There that I met my pals, Bentley. Actually, the lots of things. If you want to get into it, the Bron. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, oh. sure. It's like the end credit scene. He is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future. But I won't let it be a repeat of my past. Spooky stuff, spooky times. Sly 2 Band of Thieves. And the whole mission, uh, scheme and setup has changed too, so that's kind of something that they've added. Okay. That, uh, really enhances the, uh, I don't know. Story, I guess. Because you're not just, like, collecting things to then beat a boss. It all forms into one cohesive story. I had to call story. a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. <laughs> Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumping music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the, the tail feathers beyond me. But those plans That's what we're after tonight. Sly Cooper and the gang in. The Black Chateau. All right. There's the nightclub. There's a clue bottle. Those are making a return. Here we are in the hideout. Salute by gadgets. I don't got I don't got enough money for none of those gadgets. I go back. Oh there we go. Let's play sly. I tell you, Bentley, it's gonna be a real pleasure robbing this nightclub. I share in your but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. Reconnaissance. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job. Hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binocucum. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. Yeah, so it's like all the missions are accessible in the hub world. Fly. And so are all the, the L3 you know, press the left and clue be buttons. Into your They'll help you find your way around. If no markers are in view, use the right 
analog stick to move the camera and look around for them. Remember, the view is always better from the rooftop. Sounds good. I can't remember what they reward you with, if it's just loot, I'm pretty sure, but maybe it's something else that I forget. I don't know. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then, reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on top, jump and oh hit the boy. button to grab hold. Excuse me. Right. Jump tired for some reason. To climb pipes. I'm on it. Press some buttons playing around. But, anyways, yeah, the clue bottles. They're still like. Put clue bottles. Then you have to go find the vault somewhere. So that mechanic's still the same, but. It's not like every level has bottles, it's just the hub world has bottles, but you kind of do every mission in the hub world going forward, so whatever you want to say it as. I should be quitting lagging a little bit. Okay, we'll mosey on, we'll get these other two, I don't know what you call them, dishes pointed at the base, at the hideout, and we'll be set to, set to stake out the joint. Okay, that's all three, should be, uh, oh, we're just streaming data into our hideout now. A dun 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 dun. work so where do we go from here your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers to get inside you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town okay i'll head off for the cellar guess, guess that's where we're headed next thought i heard a bottle Clinking around. Anyways, oh, there's another clue bottle. We should go collect it since we're right here. What a lovely, lovely shot. The Eiffel Tower and the moon and Sly Cooper. Well, I better get into this mission before that guy spots me. Good to see you, little buddy. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back. Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. Let's get smacking some rats. Ow. So you know that everyone goes down in one hit. But they do have like comic effects when they die. At least. Oh, I've been double jumping, Murray. Don't worry about it. Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. Anything with coins in them? Take that as a yes. Alright, let's quit ransacking the place and 
move on. Let's got a sprint button in this game. Think so? I could take him. Maybe. Guy didn't have no coins to drop. Interesting. Could I not just take him out? This air vent leads into Dimitri's nightclub. Hit the circle button to crawl inside. Already working on it, Bentley. In order to shut down those yellow lasers, you'll need to take out that guard. Sneak up behind Why does that work? Don't know. this rat if you get in a fight with those rats the sneak attack won't work it's purely a stealth move rat I think if they're knocked out like that. Never mind. Aha, another air vent. Judging by the angle, it should Sorry, Bentley, cut you off there. I know where I'm going. Fun fact, this probably stumped not understanding instructions back in the day, <laughs> um, not listening to them, and not knowing what the fuck or where the fuck the right an or the R3 button was because you know you have R2 and R1 on the front of the controller. It's like, what the fuck is the R3 button? It, uh, probably stumped us for like a good week because like it's not back in that time it wasn't where you could just go you know open google be like what is our three button blah 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 do we think we looked in like the video game manual that used to come in like the discs and whatever probably still do but that was like oh there's the r3 button just being dumb stupid kids right like <laughs> like i've iterated before we're all kind of dumb and stupid as children Oh well, just a phase we all kind of got through, go through, right? The recon photos are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped up patrols, the sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. Psh, we could trouble, handle it. I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bug painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Perfect. Second, if you see the boss, hail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. See, and this is what I mean with all that cohesive mumbo jumbo I was talking about. 
your missions like build on each other it's not just a one and done sort of thing Follow and bug. Well, I think that's going to have to do it for today. But uh, we'll continue staking out or er, working towards beating. Oh, Jesus Christ. Working towards beating Dimitri in the next video. So everyone, that is going to do it for today. I would like to thank you so much for tuning in, but the video is now over. It's time to go out into the world and let's go do some great things. And, as we say up in Canada, peace out.